All right, going to do a video showing the scriptural outline for synergism in sanctification and regeneration for both Old Testament and New Testament saints. Because, uh, and also this goes right in the face of this Calvinist Gnostic heresy of denying free will. Uh, Calvinism and Gnosticism are, which by the way, Calvinism is just repackaged Gnosticism. I've shown that in other videos, I've shown that on my blog as well. But uh, basically, there, this heresy of Gnostic, uh, this Calvinist Gnostic heresy, I'll put it that way, is refuted by the fact that regeneration and sanctification is synergistic and involves man, basically involves uh, the saints' cooperation and also consent to it as well. So here's a scriptural outline on that. So first of all, uh, here is God's role in regeneration and sanctification, which is post-salvation too, I might add. Uh, so all right, sorry about that, had a little interruption, but here is the scriptural outline on the synergistic nature of sanctification and regeneration. So first of all, it's God who cleans and regenerates the human heart. Deuteronomy 30, verse 6, Ezekiel 11, verse 19 and 20, and Ezekiel 36, verse 25 to 27. God is who puts the fear of him in the human heart. Jeremiah 32, verse 39 to 40. There is God's role in sanctification and regeneration. Now here's man's role. Uh, man also has the ability to circumcise and purify his heart. Deuteronomy 10, 16, Ezekiel 18, 31, James 4, verse 6 to 10, Acts 15, verse 8 to 9, and 1 Peter 1, verse 22 to 23. Uh, man can control the state of his heart. Uh, 1 Kings 8, 61, uh, Proverbs 7, 25, Proverbs 6, 25, Hebrews 3, 12, Hebrews 3, 15, and Hebrews 4, 7. And mankind is also blamed and held accountable for the state of his heart. Acts 7, 51, Romans 2, verse 5 to 6, Ezekiel 3, 7, and Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11 to 12. So we see the operation of the of the free will in a synergistic relationship. Also, uh, there's a verse that talks about how you know I have purged thee, but I have purged thee, but thou wast not purged. Talking to Israel, so we we can see that it involves your consent and cooperation if you're a man, if you're a saint, basically. So it goes right in the face of this Gnostic heresy of Calvinism, which denies free will and essentially says you're regenerated before you even believe. You know, they they actually say that regeneration comes before faith, which is just totally unscriptural. But this right here refutes that heresy. So anyway, don't be deceived by Calvinism, which again, nothing more than just repackaged Gnosticism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.